Hey, everybody. Uh, tuning in to the archive. Shouts out to everyone watching live. Um, I've prepared several topics to talk about today. Uh, while we'll be building this Lego 3-in-1 uh, creator set. Uh, I put on my Twitter a couple days ago that <clears throat> kind of wanted to find a kit that wouldn't break bank. And uh, this was one of them that was suggested to me. And uh, it looked neat enough. It's a bunch of pieces. I haven't really... So I was about to say I haven't built Lego in a long time. But that's a lie because I bought a couple other sets <laughs> to, I guess, practice? Or, or, or I guess see how much Lego has changed since uh since i was regularly building them and i honestly i think the last time i was reg regularly building legos was when uh bionicles came out and man my mom was an mvp because she was willing to take my butt to the local stores whether it was a toys r us a target a kmart a walgreens even um just so i could complete this uh my, my collection so, shouts out to my mom. She's great. She's very small, though. Um, scares easily. Um, but yeah, so I uh, needed a break from Bloodborne. I have a list of topics and stuff to talk about, just so nothing gets stale. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see that. Can y'all see that? Uh, I didn't put the autofocus. Anyway, I'll just put down a post-it note there. I'm also trying to watch chat. I have it on the phone, on my phone, right here. Um, yeah, so let's bust into this. I wanted to break this open prior to the stream, but then I thought that'd be uh, this is part of the joy. Again, these uh, get these open. I should also say for the folks that don't know, I do have tendonitis in both hands, so doing anything that's like uh, super tactile uh, after my hands have kind of been a. Uh, worked out I guess um, I should have had scissors uh, can can hurt a bit so looks like all these are in bags so nothing bad will happen if I dump all that out and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll save this box for later I've been thinking about with these Lego kits I've been buying to try and be sustainable with lego i guess in that after i this is a hefty this is a hefty instruction manual by the way um after i finish these i'll try and um undo them and then maybe give them to sanitize them i guess uh dry them off and then try and give them either to a relative a relative or maybe uh, a children's hospital uh, in the bay area because otherwise they'd just be collecting desk on my shelf um, and I don't really feel like reselling them. Not that there's anything against reselling them, but, yo, know, whatever. So, let's see. Let's open up the instruction manual. All right. Oh, geez, we can pick which one we want to build first? Hmm. I'm, uh, I'm all about, I'm all about starting from the very beginning. So let's, oh God, so is this, does this mean that we'll build this starting from page six and then we'll get to that? Oh, oh, that's what they mean by three and one. All these will, uh, all these pieces are meant for any of these builds. Well, we got to build a spaceship, right? We have to build a spaceship. Oh, man, this is a different type of choose-your-adventure. Okay. All right. Well, let's bust out with... Uh, let's do the spaceship. Let's do the spaceship. Space. Um, I apologize for anyone that hates the sound of crinkly plastic. There will be tons of that here. If I could uh, easily start a pull right now, I'd do one. But we're starting... Uh, let's, let's, let's try to save these bags. Um, I think 
I don't know whether or not it's bad practice to open up all of these and dump them here and then try and piece it together or will all this be just this bag well let's see let's see okay um got a four stud here you know i've been it's kind of spurred this on besides being uh quarantined at home is i've really my partner and i have really really gotten into the lego master show on fox uh it's not a fine cbs property but <clears throat> uh that show hosted by will arnett is pretty pretty good um some amazing lego builds there uh definitely not from like a pre-existing kit or anything but like the level of imagination is awe-inspiring so already we've hit a stumbling block folks because i don't see these pieces from this bag quickly examine this bag okay we may have to pop open this one we may have to pop, pop open this one all right we won't dump it out we'll like uh yeah there we go oh you know i should have had bowls i am in my kitchen so it wouldn't be hard to go get bowls let's go get a bowl i'll be right back Uh, these are HyperX headphones. I nabbed them from the office before uh, we all had to dip out. Now we got these lovely pieces of Tupperware. We'll just go ahead and dump all that there. We'll put the bag over there. Old bag there. Um, might as well dump the other one in too, I guess. So some of the <laughs> topics I thought about talking about today, downtime, if I can't, uh, if I, hit, I guess I hit a stumbling block with Legos, ha, block, um, is coffee shop stories. I, um, my time as an intern at a uh, now, well, it's not defunct. It's now like, it's, it's very different than how it was. Uh, when I enter there, a uh, Asian music television channel, um, awful hairstyles of the past. If you tuned in to the last episode of the Bloodborne Identity, I offhandedly mentioned that I have knocked someone out. So I thought maybe we'll get into that. Um, it's happened twice. I'm not going to tell this other one where I might wind up incriminating innocent parties. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we might avoid that one. Uh, the other one is uh, Chismis. Chismis <clears throat> is uh, Tagalog for gossip. So I got some hot goss uh, for y'all <laughs> about my own friends, which I don't know if that's in poor taste. Okay, so we got successfully completed step two. Uh, step three, let's walk the plank and connect this blue platform. Hmm. Uh, Ian, I, I blame you because I saw the news about Cold Steel 4 coming out for the PS4 in America or North America at the end of this year. And it just made me think I either have to watch a bunch of YouTube videos or um, play all of them, like, now. Okay. Um, now I need another long blue plank. Found it. Connect that to here. Um, 
I know that I had mentioned that I do want to um, undo this. But I guess since it's a three in one, I could honestly like build this two more times after this. Um, but I forgot where it's going. Anyway, uh, um, yeah, I need a one white stud. Hey oh, um, this it? That's not it. I think Michael Heim has gotten up to tra Trails of Cold Steel 3. I think. I think. I know he did have to pause so he could uh, play through Persona 5 Royale. Royal? For review. I've yet to pick that up. You have to pick that up. I'm thinking about it. Thinking about it. Okay, completed step five now. Got that. All right. Um. Oh, hey Pat. Hey, hey Pat. Thanks for hanging out. Um. I would have had more cameras if I wasn't constantly scared that this camera up here would die, because I know that it will eventually die. Um, because AC adapters for these, so I'm using something similar to J <clears throat> something similar to Jason's setup where he's using a G7, I'm using a GH5, but the problem is the... <coughs> oh, sorry. The AC adapters for these bad boys, um, if you're not getting it from... Amazon, if you're trying to get it from like B&H, um, they're like close to a hundred dollars, which is insane. All right, done with step six. What is up here now? Uh, number seven. We need three of these blue pieces and then, uh, one of these little flat grays. Do you Lego pieces have specific names? Oh no. Oh no. Well, I oh boy. I gotta say this bowl technique is pretty cool. Shouts out to bowls. Um, what do I need? I needed... Should I put all this in a bowl? Let's put all that in a bowl for organization sake and so we can have a, a clean canvas. So I feel like I'm thinking about it now and I have like seasonal poor spending habits. <laughs> um, and you know, now is definitely not a time to be irrationally spending or well, I guess you can invest in different hobbies, but man, I fell into a, a deep brick hole. That sounds gross. Uh, a deep uh, hole of looking up upcoming Lego sets. And it's, you know, I'm not really a car guy by any means. But I think it's a piece of meat is in there. Oh, there we go. I'm not a car guy by any means, but I do really enjoy the look of uh, muscle cars. And I saw that they're releasing Toretto's muscle car uh, later this this month. Yeah, now it's April. Um, and man, is it really, really tempting. Um, yeah, we need to we need to exercise some self control with that. Okay, so leave a four dot space there. Are hammers a thing with Legos? Just to make sure that stuff is flush. The other uh, irrational purchase I've been contemplating, not just because of uh, the quarantine, is uh, buying a set of uh, turntables or a DJ controller. And I think I've mentioned that numerous, numerous times now. And I got very, very close to, to pulling the trigger last night. Um, but the only problem with 
DJing or doing like a like a, a music stream is a it, we'd probably have to archive it as premium if we if I wind up using tracks that are uh, non licensed or licensed tracks or we'd only have to spin um, spin royalty free music which I'm not opposed to I mean there there are some legitimately good music out there. Um, Ian, I have not tried the spin rhythm game. I think I have heard about it. Well, let me change. There we go. I can see uh, ats. Oh, gosh. Turns out on mobile, you can only see the one. So I'll just try and occasionally look up from talking. Um, so you all want to hear about some hot goss? Oh, okay. We're talking about some hot gas, y'all. All right. Um, so, two of my close friends, long-time couple. Um, I don't think they'll ever watch this, so I think we're safe. And if they do find out me talking about this, my friendship with them is probably over. Uh, but just know that I love the both of you. But anyway. <laughs> um, no, one, no one tell them, all right? I'm also not going to use their names. Oh, here we go. Um, let me find the other one real quick. So, uh, as I mentioned earlier, gossip in Tagalog um, is called chismis. I think it's spelled C H I S M I S. Chismis. Um, uh, tell that to your Filipino friends or your, uh, yeah, your Filipino friends. It'll impress them. Um, so, they had broken up and. Uh, you know, it was a uh, it was awkward for everyone involved because we were so they were one of those couples where um, they've been together for so long, or you know, you get introduced to both of them rather than just one of them. So, you know, they kind of unfortunately lost their individual identities and you know became known as a couple. Um, they eventually split, and you know that was a. Uh, I, I love seeing them together. I, I always thought they were a fantastic couple. It was really unfortunate. Um, the homie of the couple, I think, particularly took it the hardest. Um, I'd say maybe whose fault it may have been as to them splitting. But, you know, also people change and stuff. People change or also people refuse to change. And that can definitely lead to hardships for both people involved. Um and so anyway, they split up and probably maybe late last year. And uh, these were these were part of the coffee shop crew. This was part of the uh, the gang. Um, my little cousin at just texted me asking if I have apples. I don't know if she means real life apples or Animal Crossing apples. We'll get back to her later. Um, anyway, yeah, they split and. It's rough. Um, and it, oddly enough, it was like rough for like the f mutual friends because we didn't, you know, in, in most breakups, some, there, there were sides taken, unfortunately. Um, but I don't think there were any real sides taken in this one because, you know, we loved the both of them. Did I miss a piece? No. Okay. Um, Fast forward to maybe two months ago, um, another friend that was kind of uh, became their third wheel, and uh, he kind of like lost touch or connection with um, with everyone else because he was he was taking his work more seriously. Um, either flat or gray. Um, he had lost touch with the crew and whatnot. Uh, is this it? This is... No, that's six. Is this it? No, that's a hinge thing. Um, and I'd wound up seeing him, and then, you know, we are catching... Oh, that could have been a catastrophe. We were catching up. Um, and, 
he was saying, yo, bro, like, it's good to see you. I miss you. Uh, have you, like, gotten the chance to talk to uh, friend A and friend B? Because, uh, you know, I've been hitting them up for the past couple months in our group chat about wanting to uh, hang out or watch a movie. But both of them keep, like, ignoring me. Did I do something, man? Did I say something? Did I miss a birthday? And uh, <laughs> I had to tell them that, man, um, friend A and friend B broke up, have been broken up for maybe like four or five months now. Um, maybe that's why they're not responding to the group chat you're in with both of them. And then I had a laugh, and that was great. So that was cool. That's all the cheese meats I have with my friends there. Um, the one friend, the, the 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 homie, the dude, friend B, that got uh, broken up with. Fantastic dancer. I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm going to choose not to say any more things so that the internet winds up finding my friends. Which, that being said, probably wouldn't be that hard. Um... I would tell y'all that I used to have a uh, studio when I was like in between, not in between jobs, but like I had a studio. It's a piece I need. Um, I had a studio in a place in South City or South San Francisco. And I just split it with a couple of friends. It's kind of like a photography studio. Just, I use it as like a extra office for like some freelance editing stuff and just, you know, some uh, projects of my own, but our landlord, that this wasn't like a regular office or a studio. It was, <clears throat> um, it was a office space that was in a business, and the business was uh, a place that designed and built tree houses for kids. And it was super cool because the owners were super, super dope. Shouts out to Babs. Um, and they wound up renting a bunch of little parts of their studio for, uh, for you know, different artists. Like there was uh, someone there that painted on the evening, uh, during the evenings. There were several bands um, that also uh, um, rented out spaces. Most notably, uh, the workers there had a uh, bachata, and I forgive me if I said that wrong, uh, band, and they would regularly rehearse loudly four out of the five days of the uh, work week. So it became really hard to try and get any uh, serious work done there. <clears throat> um, but yeah, shout out to Babs. She was great. Fortunately, had to uh, tighten up the purse straps. Pur purse straps. My wallet. Um, and I couldn't afford to also pay for that spot um, month to month anymore. Um, so I missed the old Treehouse Studio. Also, I had much, much, much better internet there than I do in my own home. Um, but you know, the, the downside of that place, um, uh, the downside of that place was the bathroom smelled really bad, just real bad. All right, need this. I'll oh, just dump this. Oh boy, did I drop something? Hope I didn't drop anything. I'm getting really hot. I'm getting really hot. This hoodie that I'm wearing. Doesn't breathe well. I'm also wearing a, uh, a headband to keep my hair out of my face. But then I realize I have my headphones on, so just you know what? There we go. The headband is off. So this is also a very a very warm headband. Um, there we go. All right. Uh, so we need these triangle pieces and these things that look like vents. Um, so if you're just tuning in now, or, uh, you skipping ahead, we're just hanging out, building Legos. Oh, but dude, congratulations to Brad, 
Vinny, Alex, and Ben for uh, that last run of GTFO. If you didn't catch that, you should uh, totally cue that up after this uh, because you're going to stick here with me for however long I'm doing this for. Uh, because they decided to do one more run, just guns and blazing, mad spicy. And uh, in GTFO, and GTFO is a very tense game. And they managed to, you know, no spoilers here, but they did very well. Very, very well. All right. Fantastic. Okay, we need another vent looking thing and then another, uh, another aider. Another aider. I have, uh, I've, I've wondered about this the more that I've built IKEA furniture. And then I start to wonder is how IKEA just like, they only give you enough parts to complete your, uh, piece of furniture <clears throat> and it remind and you know there's always lots and lots of packaging lots of plastic lots of cardboard uh, a lot of cardboard padding to fill out the package um, where is it going with that oh that it reminds me is is blue apron the Ikea of food service stuff at home yeah anyway i have a shelf that i haven't built yet so you know part two of me building stuff might just be some legos or no not legos ikea furniture um also this uh one per <laughs> person that i was uh seeing for a uh, brief period of time um they said I was too nice. Uh, but I understand that being too nice can be uh, a bad thing. Um, or some people don't like people are too nice. Anyway, that's not what the story is about. Um, the story is about her and I collaborating on a lot of like video ideas. Because in my free time before, don't get the chance to do it as often. Um, used to shot a, shoot a lot of dance videos with friends. Uh, I was friend, friends with a bunch of people that dance stuff. Um, her, <laughs> she wanted, she was dead set on this idea to find someone that was Swedish and have them read directions to IKEA furniture while she does like interpretive dance around them in an empty warehouse area, um, and. Uh, <laughs> I had to break it to her that there are no words in IKEA instruction booklets. It's all just pictures. So it'd either be a very short video if we're just reading off the names of things. But yeah, maybe maybe I can still make that happen. Um Whew. Step 16. Ooh, lots of pieces in this one. You only hear about the time I knock someone out? Now we're looking for, it looks like a two. I've not seen Randall Park's drama filmed 100% inside an Ikea store. Ikea Heights? All right, I'll check that out. Um, man, Randall Park. Uh, my, my, my partner and I, we regularly talk about how much we love Randall Park. And that, I mean, you know, there was a bit for a while that he was uh, Asian Jim from The Office. Uh, but I like to think of Randall Park as like the, the Asian Paul Rudd. And I'll just leave it at that. What's the... Did I lose a bag? I'm not looking hard enough. I'm just I'm getting lost in Randall Park's eyes and likability. Oh boy. Mm. Yes, and, oh yeah, and they're both in anime. 
Is this it? Oh, this is it. This is it. Here we go. Need eight of these. One. Uh oh. Oh, no, no. There's more here. There's more here. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I'm going to share with you all a random goal that I had for this year if E3 was still happening. Um, a friend of mine works for another tangentially CVS related property. property. Um, deals with two gentlemen that hail from uh, the Bronx. And uh, I'll let you uh, finish that thought for y'all or connect those puzzle pieces together. My friend is a digital producer for them and no, not Big Bang Theory. Uh, they have recently started playing a couple games on uh, their YouTube channel and I was trying to convince him to convince his higher ups that he should get them to go to E3 so they could come on the E3 couch. Now, uh, with E3 being canceled, uh, and, you know, on, on top of the whole quarantine stuff, it's uh, <clears throat> definitely not in in the cards anymore. But, you know, life finds a way, right? Is that the saying? Finds, life finds a way. Life finds a way. Finds whey protein. Oh, man. Uh, one of my coffee shop homies, love him to death. Uh, we'll just call him Sweet Baby Ray. Um, Ray is the sweetest guy in the world. But he is definitely has the temper occasionally of a pit bull. Um, where, you know. And the stigma against pit bulls. Because I, I love... I love pit bulls, very cute dogs, but if provoked, um, you know, they can get very tense and angry. Um, sweet baby Ray, uh, him and I used to work out when I was trying to get, uh, lose all my extra jam here. I realized the camera doesn't see it, but I held my belly and jiggled it. That's why I call, you know, the chubs extra jam. Um, uh, back when I was like, actively trying to lose that more often than I am now because right now I'm just encouraging extra jam I'm just like boy live your life is this what I need? no um yes yeah, some jam plus that's the one p part of big boy season I do not want to participate in uh, him and I used to work out a lot and then we called our workout group which was just him and I uh, <laughs> Swole Team Six, and anytime anyone ever anyone ever asked us about the name, uh, and asked like, oh, so who are the other four? We would just smile and stare blankly and say that there was no one else. That was that was Ray's idea. Um, another time that Ray and I almost got into a fight with other people with other people. I would never take on Ray. I would, I would die. That guy would like break me. Imagine uh, for the folks that don't uh, follow wrestling. I apologize for the brief wrestling talk, but Sweet Baby Ray, his build is um, basically Keith Lee. If you put him, if you combined Ray Mysterio and Keith Lee, so he'd be a. It's very. Very uh oh boy yeah what a what a gentleman beefy boy definitely uh, one time at we were at a bar um we had a DD don't worry designated driver always have one we're trying to Uber home uh, don't don't drive inebriated folks very dangerous and selfish um we we're at a bar. With a couple of friends, a couple of coworkers from the coffee shop, uh, and 
one of our female coworkers was kind of getting harassed by these two drunk dudes. Um, and, you know, she waved them off saying, like, hey, I'm not interested. I'm here with my friends, blah, blah, blah. Yet they kept harassing her. Um, and then they started insulting us. Uh, specifically, Ray and I <coughs> uh, are part of, I guess this is what I'm looking for. Um, sorry, insulting us. And now I'm trying to think whether or not I'll say the obscenities that end the story. It's fine. It's fine. Um, <laughs> uh, so we were packing up getting ready to leave because they were annoying. They were super annoying and we did not want to have to deal with them anymore. So we started leaving, walking back to the car and they follow us out of the bar. And, you know, Ray was uh, pretty, pretty inebriated at that point and very frustrated. And our female friends were starting to feel increasingly uncomfortable with this, all this unwanted attention. Um, oh, this part's about to look cool. They were uh, feeling increasingly uncomfortable with, is this what I need? So they kept, they were following us to the car and kept yelling obscenities, a lot of slurs targeted towards um, not only our race, but our presumed sexual preferences. Um, and yeah, these two guys were just being douchebags from the get go. We're just being douchier and douchier. Um, be, just because, you know, our female friend didn't want to give them the time of day. Not that she was entitled to at all. Um, and Ray eventually snapped and turned around and basically told them, yo, like, stop talking to our friend. She doesn't want any of it. She'll never want any of it from any of y'all. Both of y'all are scrubs. And I'm kind of self-censoring here because I kind of just don't want to say the actual uh, words that Ray had said. Um, nothing problematic. Don't worry, raise raise a clean guy. Um, but then these two uh, uh, schmoes start calling Ray and I like uh, other obscenities and stuff, saying like, "Oh, ha ha ha, chubby one and the short one. Um, what are y'all gonna do?" Blah blah blah. And like both of these guys were like maybe like six one, six something. I'm like about five eight. Ray's like. Five three and stuff. Um, where's this other part I'm looking for? Okay, it looks like that. Um, no, that's a wheel. Maybe, oh, think I found it. Think I found it. Perfect. Um, that and I was trying to pull Ray back because I was like, Ray, I do not want to have to deal <laughs> with um, these dumbasses. Um, Let's just please leave. And then they started calling Ray even more, Ray and I, uh, more obscenities that Ray pushed me. And Ray proceeds to rip his shirt off and uh, yell at both of the guy. Immediately walk straight up to both dudes and like look them dead in the eyes and whisper yell to both of them. I will bite both of your dicks off right now. Um, and then, you know, at that point, I just had to support the homie. Make sure he wasn't going to go in alone. And then I just proceeded to take my shirt off calmly. <laughs> and uh, I'm just now wearing a tank top. And uh, back up Ray and say, like, yo, we'll F you up if we have to. Um, yeah, they, uh, were very scared. Oh, this was the part I was looking for. I need another one of these. Um, is this it? This is it. Okay, need this one. Um, so yeah, I proceeded to, and they backed off, because they did not want either of their members bit off by two random Filipinos. And yeah. Proceed to go home and uh, have a wonderful rest of our night. That's not the story I was hinting at earlier. I just started thinking of my friends. Hmm. I 
need another one of these. Well, let's just complete this. Okay. Let's put that there. And then snap this piece on. Cool. Look at that. Um, just need another one of those pointy pieces. Okay. I'll set this aside here. Um, geez. Would it be easier if I just look from the bottom instead of picking it up? If anyone's wondering why I'm in my kitchen nook area now, uh, my partner last week, she was on spring break from school. Uh, and because of, you know, the corona quarantine, oh, found it. Most, no, well, all the classes have been moved to online sessions. And I thought it'd be easier for her to just have the desk area in the room. And I'll just move over here. And, you know, it hasn't been too bad. All things said. Yeah, I need a bowl for the manual. Okay. I think that's what that is. Oh, look at that. We have the makings of a spaceship. What time am I doing this until? Okay. I don't know if we'll finish on time with the way that I keep jabbering. Uh, no, let's pop into the questions tab. Are these friends that broke? Nope. Uh, no Calvin Ball. These friends are not friends that broke up uh, the the big show that I used to work for. Um, what if I streamed DJ Hero 2? Oh. Jan, can you hear me? Yes, I can, Rory. Excellent. How are you today? I'm great. I'm just popping in to say hello. You invited people into the Slack to the Discord to say hello. I figured I'd swing by and say hi. Hey. How are you doing? Roy? I didn't want to interrupt any of your stories, though, so I, I waited for a hopefully opportune moment. Moment. I appreciate that. How are you doing? What What are you? You're uh, You're up up after me, aren't you? I am. Um, I, I through the risk of self promotion. Uh, yeah, we're gonna probably start off a little splunky. I think we're gonna try and do. I mean, Yolanda are gonna try and do a quick look of that totally reliable delivery service uh, game that is now free on Epic. So I have a feeling a lot of people have been playing that. So we figured oh. we'd. Try to archive something. I'm gonna try yeah. and archive a 21 by 9 stream. Let's see how the site likes it. How's uh how's uh your your archiving process been? I know you had a Not little great. bit of tr okay. Yeah, it's been really rough. Um, if you if you want to get in the nitty gritty, I don't think I've archived any of my stuff that I've been streaming. I haven't streamed as much as everybody else, but um, I've been learning a lot about Twitch and bit rates, and yeah. um, I try to if you if anybody really wants to see something entertaining. Uh, you can go back a couple, like last week, I think I streamed some Doom at 1440p, and it turned oh. out to it just look like, it just looked like mush. Um, so I've been, I've been fooling around a lot with settings and everything like that. Slow games that don't move very fast are pretty, pretty, come, come across pretty well. Okay. Um, but it's just a lot of pixels to record. Like, if, if you're not familiar, the audience, like, we try to record on our own machines, um as the archive that we put up on the site but for these they are significantly very very large i think it's like 100 megs of 10 seconds every or something like that yeah it's um, pretty beefy i i generally have to like free up some space on my computer before every yeah. time i go um i think one of the things that was the problem early on was that i was i uh, had the uh nvidia Instant replay turned on, which does like five minutes constantly recording, and I was trying oh. to record. I forgot that I had that on, so that was recording as well, um, and that that was really causing a lot of problems. It's a little bit better now, but I, I I've been fooling around a lot um, with the settings and everything. But hopefully it'll go smooth today. We'll find out. Uh, fingers crossed. Yeah, um, it'll be fun. I really do like. Uh, well, I like Splunky. I like the uh, totally reliable game as well. But we're gonna try and get Yolanda on. The only thing is, I only have one mic. It's like I, easier to have it in front of my face, so she might not be super audible, but uh, it's fine. She doesn't need to talk. She she giggled at that. She can hear me. Um, Cole, Kono Neko, are either of you two or both of you still playing Final Fantasy XIV? I was playing some Final Fantasy XIV last night. You started a little bit of it, right, Jan? Yeah, I, I kind of fell off. Um, it's a slow burn at the beginning. It's yeah. a really, really slow. 
Yeah. Um, I've been meaning after seeing the near raid in person and not understanding anything that was going on. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I thought like, all right, I'm going to need to set aside time and not gear up for it, but like not, I guess, speed through everything in the way yeah. that I was doing. It's a very, um, it's a game that you really want to have a TV show on or something in the background. I mean, that, that's unfair because there are a lot of cutscenes, but for the most part, you kind of know when you're into a serious cutscene when they actually have people talking, like the voice acting. Right. And beyond that, you can kind of like read it and click through it and, and not. But it's it's so many cutscenes. I'm still in the second, still in the first expansion. I think um, I still have. I'm like level 67. I think I need to I need to play more. But it's been tough to find the time. It's been busy. It's been yeah. a little busy lately. It's been surprisingly busier than I thought it would be. Working Me too. From home. Um, Rory, I gotta, yeah, I gotta, been... I gotta tell you something. Sure. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. It's been, yeah, it's been fun. I appreciate you too. I, I really think this is a fun idea for a stream. Uh, but yeah, I, I guess I, I mean now kind of well, after work is generally done for the day. I guess there's all the time in the world for Final Fantasy fourteen. Yeah, I've been kind of in a weird. Like I've been playing so much. I'm at the the end boss of Doom now. Um, it is challenging. I'll say that it's. I got there last night and I kind of hit a, hit a point where I couldn't figure out even how to hurt him, and I kind of alt F four it out and, and gave up. But uh, I definitely want to get that done. Once I'm done with that, I uh, probably will have time for some other stuff. But it's been it's been yeah, it's been challenging to find up like uh thinking so much about our streams and what we're doing, and then um. It takes up a lot of energy on top of everything else that we have to do around the around this place. Rory, are you a, a Doom guy? I've loved. I mean, I played Doom when it came out, and uh, oh God, when was that? Ninety six? I no. think so. No, it was earlier than that, I think. Um, but it was one of those games I remember very early on where you had to like you had to hit the plus and minus keys on your keyboard to make it like smaller, like it would postage postage uh, stamp size to make it run better on some oh, PCs. Oh shoot! It's been it's been a heck of a thing. I yeah, I played Wolfenstein when it came out too. So I've I've like I've, I've played every Doom game. And I've, I've, I've liked them all. Um, Doom Eternal, yeah, a lot of I don't know. I wouldn't say I'm the Doom guy. It, it, have you been playing that at all? I know I, 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 I saw some of the Bombcast chat. It's uh, I've been a little bit intimidated by it because I wasn't necessarily that great at even the 2016 one. Mm -hmm. And then to hear a lot of folks say that uh, the initial wind up for Eternal is a little uh, rough. Yeah, it's um, uh, one of those games where I think people should just I playing it on Hurt Me Plenty. This the, the default difficulty. I'm having a great time. I think a lot of people have this idea that they can play it on nightmare or ultra violence and it's it might not be the best choice for everybody to do that same thing i'm just having a heck of a time uh i could probably bump it up a notch even at this point but um i'm, I'm having a really good time with it oh you know what i'm also having a good time with rory i'm having a fantastic time with bloodborne oh yeah yeah, yeah. i've been i saw i was i saw your last stream i was congratulations on guest coin i know he's uh he's definitely one of the kind of in uh in wow and mmos are there these things called gear checks where like if you don't have a certain amount of gear or skill you can't really get past them guess coin is definitely one of those things that you really have to kind of have the fundamentals down to get past so i think it took me about i was playing that in front of yolanda when i beat that uh and it took me like 20 tries 20 or 30 i think but just getting railed every time and then of course as soon as she as soon as she left the room coincidentally i, I beat him on the, the very first try after that so Congratulations to your uh, to beating him back then. Yeah, it was fun. I, of course, I I don't know. Did anybody remember when I beat Bloodborne in UPF? But don't go find that stream, Jan, because I think there'll be spoilers for you. Um, oh, okay. I should probably let you continue with your rack and touring. I just wanted to pop in and say hi because I know how long these streams can be. If you want to go over to, it depends on how much progress you're making. If you want to go past five of this, feel free. Just let me know in Slack and I can uh, adjust my time to start any anytime that you feel like. Rory, I don't want to make you have to stay later than you gotta, even if I'm staying, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. So, um, but yeah, we have, we don't have any firm dinner plan. Meat's still un, unthawing, so we have a little time before dinner. So uh, before feel free you to leave take time. What meat? Before you leave, what meat? It's a flank steak, I oh, believe. Okay. It is okay. a hefty chunk of meat right now. I should actually see, is there a um, hanging with friends? I wonder if there's a Lego category on Twitch. Hmm. I tried quickly looking something up before I started going, and I could, I could only find Lego games. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's, it's. I don't know what database they're pulling their data from, man. That's a that's a joke they pulled from us. Um, uh, yeah, so maybe that they would be because we don't have Lego as a. We probably have a Lego franchise, but I don't think they pull in. I don't think they pull in franchises from us. So, anyways, Jan, I'll let you get back to it. I was just saying hi. I'll be on after you uh, for everybody in the audience, and I'll be doing a little. I'm gonna start off with Spelunky, and then when my lady friend's ready to roll, we'll try to get a an actual quick look of totally reliable delivery service on there. If you're watching this in the archive, look for that somewhere. Fantastic. I'll Thanks, Jan. Later, I'll see you in a bit. Just uh, ping right. me if you need more time or whatever. We'll do, buddy. Cool. Bye. See you later. Matt Rory, everybody. What a wonderful gentleman. I love that man. Um, in basketball, well, in any sport, there's um, like specific positions. I don't know where I'm going with this metaphor. Forget it. General gist of it, though, Rory is a fantastic human being. All right, so the time I knock someone out. <laughs> um, maybe I shouldn't tell that story. Maybe I shouldn't tell that story. I'm trying to, th I'm like putting it in my head. Um, whether or not. It's something I should tell. Let me... Okay. Coffee shop stories. Still got plenty of those. That... Awful hair. All right. Um, in a Twitter exchange a couple months ago between Abby and myself, I told her that I used to have a faux hawk. What is this? Oh, God. These little pieces again. These are black? Black. I used to have a faux hawk and a uh, rat tail. So um, I was like borderline full Filipino Joe Exotic for a hot second. Um, no, this isn't the piece I'm looking for. Um, and then the thing was, I think I was rocking with so much confidence. No one wanted to tell me that it might not have been a good look, or at least a look that will age well. Um, is this the piece I need? Is this the piece I need? I think this is it. One. Two. Um, got me thinking about, you know, possible movie castings for uh, a Joe Exotic movie. And I have no ideas. I mean, there's the... There's the idea to have David Spade from Joe Dirt. Man, I gotta tell y'all. Uh, growing up, we occasionally were very, very low on funds. God bless my parents for doing as much as they could. But, you know, financial time, hard times. Hard time, hard times, baby. Um, uh, what happened? You know, I can't predict when stuff like that will go, go down. But my parents tried their fudge and hardest to <coughs> uh, provide as much as they could when they could. Um, but, you know, sometimes lose cable. So I quickly got accustomed to just kind of like auto recording whatever movies were playing uh, on VHS. So like, you know, like a movie would be playing on USA or whatever. Um, and I'd like set my VCR to record it. So in the off chance uh, didn't have enough funds to pay the cable bill, we I could still have something to watch to like kind of pass the time by if I didn't want to play a game or something. Um, and need this one. One of those movies in one of those periods of time dropped a piece. Mission. Okay, cool. Didn't go too far. One of those movies was Joe Dirt. So I got very, very well acquainted with the movie Joe Dirt. Uh, Yes, yes, I'm wearing Crocs. I thought about doing it standing um, at first, but then I found another stool in my house and thought, I do not want to stand for two hours if I don't have to. Your boy's going to sit down. Is this the piece I need? It's like the opposite of what I need. Oh, this, it's not like a little, it's not like a little L inside stud block thing. It's a 
twofer with some side studs. That's what we call it in the biz. Also, uh, if you are in the medical industry, uh, God bless you for <clears throat> all the incredible work you are doing. If you have any relatives that are in the medical industry, uh, they are heroes. Heroes. I hope they're uh, able to stay safe. I think, actually, you should let them know. Let your significant others know, your loved ones know. If they're in the medical industry. They think Crocs are uh, giving away free Crocs to those uh, medical professionals. And, you know, I gotta say, yes, these are not the prettiest shoes to look at, but they are cozy. Super cozy. Um, also getting really hot. I took my... I took my headband off thinking it'd be nicer, but it's not. I do have a door next to me, though. Maybe I'll open that door. I'll open that door. One sec. back we're, we're here again it's the light out i do not want a cat i'm not a cat person i have nothing against cats just just don't like cats i'm just gonna say this the person that i know the person i've worked with may have had an exotic cat in their youth and that's it that's all i'm gonna say okay now is it the Hangy bits? No, it's the... Well, now the door closed. No, it's, uh, it's no one that I currently work with. I'll let you guys know that. Alright, found those pieces. Pretty easy. Now, where do these go? One... Oh, just one of them. Oh, well. Chunk. Step 29. What are we doing on time? What, uh, it's, it's 4.31. I think we might be able to finish with a spaceship at least. By the time we gotta pass it off to Rory. Um. <clears throat> oh, whoa, that's cool. So that's how they'll get the curve bit here. This uh, little overhang piece. Legos are so awesome. Legos are pretty cool. Um, if you've got a question for me, I'll, uh, pop into the questions tab right quick. Um, <clears throat> in between, while I look for a piece and while I think of another story to share with y'all. Um. Oh, Shadow. Uh, hey Jan, chismis is also a word for gossip in Spanish. There we go. Um, a lot of similarities. Oops. Uh, in similar words in Spanish and Tagalog, uh, because of colonization. Ooh, Steve Carell is Joe's campaign manager. Uh, Dan underscore city saying that. Uh, I don't know. Steve Carell's like, well, Steve Carell can, an anchor man can get pretty, pretty zany if he has to. That guy, the manager with the prosthetic legs, uh, fantastic gentleman, or at least one of the more normal seeming people on uh, Joe's crew. Is this a piece I need? No, it's uh it's just a rounded piece with two studs. Um AJ the Sater asks, did I get the orange tool that comes with most uh, Lego sets? Actually, I thought that was a thing that was common in most sets now. And uh the thing they're talking about is like um it's like a little wedge thing to help prop pop pieces off and in case you accidentally, uh, oh no, my notes. <clears throat> In case you accidentally chunk a piece down where it's not supposed to be. Now, where's this piece? Uh, I thought I was going to get one of those, but I did not. And I haven't been able to find those 
in online. I haven't been able to find anything online. Jesus. How much battery do I have left on the camera? Oh, cool. Two bars. Um, yeah, the campaign manager, he was a nice person as well. And so is the, uh, the worker that got their arm bitten off. Um, okay. Where are we? Lots of pieces for this one. A lot of pieces for these components here. Um, I would love to build more of these kits on stream if this isn't too boring. I realize this is just story time with me recounting my hooligan ways um, to y'all. <clears throat> um, and I'd, I'd love to build more. Uh, my partner actually... Uh, I was getting a little bit of cabin fever, and she lured me into going to Target because she had told me that she needed uh, uh, some toiletries, and I obliged. We went out, and uh, she said, oh, Jan, I know you're super paranoid of the Rona, so you could just stay inside. So, stayed inside the car, um, and she comes back with none of the the female hygiene stuff that she needed she needed um but instead she came back with like two different lego sets and said hey happy late anniversary buddy and uh that was pretty awesome she got me uh two harry potter sets i'm a big harry potter fan i love I love Harry Potter. Um, <laughs> like, y'all have no idea. I love Harry Potter. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm one of those weird people that actively tells people not to buy them gifts. Because I just don't like people spending money on my behalf. I mean, if we're splitting a meal... Or if, you know, you buy, like, a round of drinks or, like, food or whatever. Like, that's cool. Because, like, that's something I could totally, like, get you back next time. I need a gray vent. I lose a vent? Oh, this is black. This is black. Um. <clears throat> oh, gosh. Another small piece. What is this? It's like a flat gray cap. Gray cap. Let's pop back in the questions tab. Oh, you know, Brinty, I did not play... No, I did play the PS1 Harry Potter game. I think it was the first one, Sorcerer's Stone. Um, there's actually a Quidditch game on PSN right now. Um, I got an email for it, and it's just outright copying Quidditch. I'm surprised it has nothing to do with Harry Potter. Or that's just called Quidditch. Um, I played... <coughs> I played a uh, majority of my Harry Potter games. Oh, there's a little piece I need. Majority of the Harry Potter games on uh, Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance. I, uh... So... My partner has told me numerous times that she does not believe that I am. I've taken part of the part of more. Oh, oops. Kicked my tripod a bit. Sorry. Uh, I've taken the Pottermore test uh, once. And then, you know, a bunch of random personality BuzzFeed-esque quizzes about which uh, house I'd be in. And, you know, for a Harry Potter fan, this is like everything. This is the most important thing to you. I... Um, wound up getting Gryffindor, but my partner insists that I am not actually a Gryffindor, and I realize J.K. Rowling right now is all types of like mm, slow down, say less, and not the good terms of say less, but like literally say less. Um, she insisted I was not a <coughs> Gryffindor, and instead. 
was adamant. Adamant. About uh, that I was a Slytherin. Um, and her justification for this was that... God, what was she saying to justify that I was a Slytherin? Oh, okay. She says that I am all in it for the glory majority of the time, which, you know, is, is true. Um, I can be very self-centered. I try not to let that show while I'm on the clock. Um, and apparently this is a thing that I have done in a lot in previous... Uh, in previous place of employment, specifically uh, the last place I was at before Giant Bomb, uh, was not the robot show, uh, that in meetings, apparently, I have a habit of <clears throat> uh, sitting there silently, letting everyone talk and get their ideas out, and I, it, it becomes increasingly apparent to folks that uh, increasingly apparent to folks that I'm starting to feel annoyed that whatever process we're doing is taking way too long that I eventually will strike in at the last minute like a snake and mention my idea and be convincing enough to everyone that they'll just forget their own ideas and go with mine and that happened a lot the last place I worked at. So. Ah. Leave that be. Uh, I don't think I'm the well actually guy at the end of a meeting. But I'll be more like the well you know this is what we got to do. I, uh, straight to the point type of person. But I do realize in, when I speak to friends or talk in general or retell stories to, to folks, um, I dawdle a lot. My pace, my storytelling pace is that of the speed that a Werther's original will melt in your mouth unprovoked. Unprovoked Werther's originals. Name of my band, unprovoked. Where there's originals, nothing wrong with where, where there's originals. I used to be, I used to listen to uh, the comedy button a lot. Uh, some, uh, and y'all probably know who th those folks are. Um, they had a bit about where there's originals that slayed me, um, and kind of made me not want to. Uh, eat where there's originals anymore but then i've since gone back um on my stance ag against where there's originals and that you know if you need them oh and also specifically my pops likes them a lot uh because uh my dad's diabetic so he occasionally needs a little boost to his blood sugar so he occasionally keeps a lot of where there's originals in his pockets so that is uh, something he does to just uh, keep the blood sugar up. Because blood sugar being down for a diabetic, no bueno. Shouts out to uh, my high school theater teacher because he talked a lot with his hands and because of that, because I would um, hang out with him a lot and stuff and continue to like revisit my old high school to help out the theater department. I would wind up talking a lot with my hands. A lot of gestures. I need... Okay, we're here. Need... It's a little rampy duty. We need a... Black 2 by one And then... What is this one? A black single stud. God, maybe I should have kept the smaller, harder to find pieces together. But the bowl situation is definitely a good idea. 
because the further we go into build, the less pieces in the bowl. And I found it. My butt hurts. I'm sitting on a stool. And it's not the most comfortable at all. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Let's pop into the questions tab right quick. Yo, okay. Number one character in Harry Potter. Well, my personal favorite is uh, uh, Lupin. But maybe because I like werewolves. Maybe not anymore after uh, Bloodborne. My time with Bloodborne will be done. But uh, I loved Remus Lupin. It's a shame. Spoilers. But uh, what is... Oh, no. Oh, no. I think I did that incorrectly. Okay. Back. Black 2 by one here. Love Remus Lupin. MVP. Dark chocolate. Right? Um, but Hermione is like the MVP. Harry and Ron would be so screwed without uh, Hermione. Um, you know, I, I, I think I've asked this and I've made several polls about this in... Um, oh. Professor Slughorn... Great teacher also. Love Professor Slughorn. Um, I'd like to ask you, the Giant Bomb universe, who you think, or what houses you think uh, the, different, the staff would be in. Think, uh, think young Ben, Ben GP, maybe uh, the Hufflepuff. And that's all I got. Oh, these are some weird pieces, y'all. I don't know if you can make this out but we got one of them already this is like a single one with like a hook and this one's just like an open doorknob all right i'm gonna read off what i'm seeing here uh i'm seeing a lot of jeff slytherin alex's uh ravenclaw rory hufflepuff business dave ravenclaw abby gryffindor brad brad is totally a ravenclaw Brad is 100% a Ravenclaw. <clears throat> uh, and that is, is not an insult by any means. Vinny Hufflepuff? I could see that. I think, you know, for as, uh, for as I've known Rory for like almost three years now. And I feel like Rory would be a Gryffindor. Heart of Gold. Where's a little hooky duty? Are there any? Well, I mean, I I liked the GBA Harry Potter games. Um, and I know the quick looks for the Harry Potter games on the site are notorious for being hilarious, but also just, just not being the best games. Um, I was wondering if there were actually any, like, really good... Oh, man, I need two doorknobs. Any really good... Uh, no, it's not a doorknob. Well, I'll, I'll pull that aside. Uh, any good Harry Potter games I may have missed? I did not play Quidditch Cup for the PS2. World Cup, sorry. What do I need? I need a doorknob. Door hole. Oh... Have I told y'all? Okay, this part stays between you and I, all right? I need to, like, configure this. Have, uh, you know what? Never mind. Have I told y'all? Now, if there's anyone under the age of 18 here, leave. In this story, I might have to, like, tell on a separate premium stream. But have I told y'all the time that I, uh, I witnessed... Some adult activities in a bathroom. Have I told that story here somewhere? All right, so a doorknob piece. Um, okay, so I eventually write this down, someone. I think I'm going to save the story of when I 
knocked someone out. Uh, for oh, found a doorknob. Save that for a uh, a premium stream. Okay, all right. Well, you know what? <sighs> well, okay, okay, okay. So let me let me put these pieces on, and then we'll get to the uh, the naughty story. All right, all right, all right. Okay, I trust y'all. No one clip this. No one clip this, please. Please. <laughs> Let me just put these doorknobs in. Okay. One there. One there. I put this. It's a weird spot to... Ooh, is this going to be like a hinge? A lot of a spinny stuff. Um... <clears throat> A lot of spinny stuff in modern day Lego. Spinny stuff and like hinging things. Um, I swear to God, if anyone clips this, I mean, I can't really do much. But, you know, so on your boy needed to go number two. And uh, I have a personal habit of not being able to do it anywhere else but home. Weird habit I developed from my childhood. I just don't like going anywhere else that's not home. Don't feel comfortable. Uh, but back in college, I uh, would occasionally, you know, be in between like a long chunk of classes, and I uh, didn't have time to go home. And you know, na when nature calls, nature calls. So I went to the fifth floor. If you <laughs> This happened at my college, and I'll just name the college, San Francisco State University. I would go to the Humanities Building, um, and I'd go to, like, the fourth or fifth floor. I don't remember. Um, I don't quite remember. But uh, whatever floor the faculty offices were in, because those floors were <laughs> uh, quiet. Uh because it was mostly just faculty and like the only people going up there would be uh, people going for office hours and the bathrooms or the stalls there were generally cleaner. Looking for a two by one gray. Um, so the layout of the stalls, and we'll use these Legos to, uh, we might wind up ending the stream telling the story. We won't finish the spaceship. I promise I won't work on it. But there is one, two, three stalls. And here is here is the door. Uh, and then, you know, handicap stalls over here. <clears throat> so I go in. Let's get some distinct colors here. No, this one. I go in, and I go in to stall number three, right? I'm doing my business. I do my stuff. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, someone, so I should say there's like a small little hallway in between like the door, and then there's another door. Let's illustrate that with Legos. <laughs> hallway, outer door, inner door, here. And uh, someone busts in through the outer door that, for whatever reason, my first reaction was to put my feet on the stall so they wouldn't know I'm there. I don't know why I thought of that. I don't, I don't know why that was what I decided to do. But now this person, person number two, thinks the bathroom is empty because they don't see any feet anywhere. So... <clears throat> they decide to go into stall number two. And then I'm thinking um, uh, that, oh, poop. Well, this will be weird if my feet eventually go down, but I'll just, you know, slowly lower my feet. Or I'll wait for person number two to finish their business and leave, and then I'll lower my feet. And then I thought, and then just when I, I thought they were done doing their business, 
another person, person number three, enters the bathroom, goes into stall number one. So here I am, feet still on the stall, right there. And person number two, number one, <sighs> doing their business. And Lord, and then I'm thinking, okay, well, this is awkward. I'll just, I'll just wait, or maybe I'll start to slowly lower my feet. But then I hear uh, person number two, I see them shift their feet from sitting forward to turning ever so slightly to stall number one. And then they uh, tap their foot to stall number one. Stall number one, as far as I can tell, responded back with a tap of their own. And then person, oh, this is actually a perfect piece for this. Uh, person in number, this is not a co-ed restroom. Uh, by the way, person number two, their feet poke out into my stall. So now I can see their shoes like that. And then I can hear, the next thing I hear is um, what sounds like the the frantic stimulation of flesh. And uh, you know, I'm just going to put place this where I think person number one was, and it was like that, and like that. And, you know, we're all adults here. I'll let you all uh, imagine what was going on. And then I just heard some very vigorous action. So while that was going on, I cleaned up after myself. And I slowly lowered my feet down. And then I, uh, cause you know, by the way, not king shaming. If you want to get your dirty on, you do you buddy. Um, clean myself up, slowly pull my pants on, pull my backpack off the, uh, hook that the stall was on. <clears throat> and then my dumb butt forgot that it was this specific floor that had bat toilets with an automatic sensor. Every other toilet in this building had a, uh, a a bar to flush, a lever, a lever. So I stand up, and then my toilet just goes... Shoo! I hightail it out of there. I try and wash my hands real quick because I'm not a monster. And the only thing I hear as I'm now like scurrying through past door number one in the hallway. The only thing I hear is a, oh, huh. and, uh, all right. Step 35. We found this, uh, little hood part. Didn't find that little, uh, didn't find that little two by one piece that I needed. Like I said, folks, the story that happened stays between us. It stays between us. And maybe that's why I don't use the bathroom anywhere else but home. I can't find the two by one. I cannot find. Is this? No. I need to. Let's get rid of a little diagram. Um, what time is it? Three minutes to five. Let's try and complete this last portion before we sign off and pass the baton over to Rory. Um, I cannot, for the life of me, find it. Huh. I really want to finish this, but I don't want to finish this without y'all, because, like, we're so close, I think. Unless there's, a like, a million more complicated things that'll happen. <clears throat> In between. Um... But we're going to complete this step. 
we're going to complete this step. this it? No, that's not it. The bowl method is now betraying me. I'm more stressed out right now than I was trying to beat Father Gascoigne. Um, you know, and here I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to fill up my time block with these bricks. Here we are. Can I kick a piece down somewhere? Like, honest to God, cannot find the two pieces I need. Um. Well, I think I may do that off camera. <clears throat> That's not the piece I need. Did I already set it aside? Did I already put it down? No, I didn't put it down. Um, oh, here we go. Found the one. All right, just need one more piece. And then we'll call it a day. This, no, that's not it. It might be here. Well, I don't think we're going to find the little other piece we need. But we're going to snap this on. And yeah, shoutouts to bowls. To a fair extent, certain extent. Um, I can only imagine what the rest of this will look like. But uh, as of for now, I've been Jian. We've shared stories here. I insist that I am not a Slytherin, but I'll leave that up to y'all to decide. Um, so yeah, holla at your boy if you want, if uh, this wasn't too boring. And if you, you know, I'm going to finish this. I'm going to at least do one more of uh, these. <clears throat> I'm going to finish the spaceship on camera. Uh, but if y'all want to see more of uh, Lego building, trying to invite more folks over. Uh, it might be easier in the beginning of the day not like one of the last blocks because uh folks are tired but yeah uh i've been me you've been you i'll uh see y'all later and stuff yeah yeah i swear to god i'm not a slytherin uh count down with me folks three two one fade in the black